Hey everyone, the name is Erik and today we're talking about feeling judging, one of the eight new cognitive functions and one of the deciders of the MTI cognitive functions. So feeling judging is about social control, it's about aligning the world uh, with certain social expectations, it's installing a sense of justice or fairness, it's uh, setting up the world according to some kind of social protocols, you know, who am I, who are other people, what group or nation are we a part of, what is our tribe, what is our group, what is our group culture, what are our group norms, how do we treat one another, what do we do, what is right, what is wrong. Feeling judging, social judgment is about inserting in the group your own expectations about how the group should function and how they want the group to operate and how you want everyone in the group to work together. It's creating a climate of agreeableness, a climate where people feel we can support and rely on one another. You have my back, I have your back. The group is a place where everyone can come together. It's a place where people take turns in cooking or cleaning or where people help each other out to make sure work gets done faster. It's a social climate where, yeah, we have the support of one another and that means things are easier for everyone. In that everyone is carrying the load and sharing and supporting one another. Everything is easier for everyone involved. Everyone can count on one another. Everyone can know and trust one another. Everyone can feel that there is a shared everyone, a shared group, a shared identity. And then when you talk about this, feeling judging is the natural role of the caregiver. It's the archetype of the caregiver, the supportive, nurturing archetype, the one that sets the group's needs, the family, the tribe's needs above their own. When we talk about feeling judging, we're talking about the person that primarily focuses on support and giving support and having support. Can I trust other people? Will other people have my back or other people with me? Can I be trusted? Do I have other people's backs? Do I help other people out when they need to? Am I a good person? Am I kind? Am I helpful? What am I giving to other people? What am I doing to help or better the world or my environment or my neighborhood. So feeling judging is canalized into a social energy in which we're thinking constantly about other people, your family members, your friends and other people. What do they want? What do they need? What can I do for them? When you're using feeling judging and when it's your flow function, you're naturally exhibiting care and support to other people. You make other people feel naturally along you in your company that you are supportive, you are helpful, you're trustworthy, reliable, you're a friend, you're a helper, you're mo motherly, you're giving, you're uh, the person people turn to, can turn to when they need it. So anybody can use this function but when you use it in flow, you experience a heightened sense of motivation and passion. The more you feel other people can rely on you, the more good you feel you are doing, the more intrinsic motivation you feel. It's not about the thank you for anybody else. It's not about the social values it will bring. It's not about uh, getting the support from other people back in return. It's just because you like it. You like helping out a stranger and never seeing that person again even if there was no return or not even a thank you you like the thought of doing it just secret acts to help them secret acts to be there for them to support them you know feeling judging when it is comes from a position of flow it's naturally expressed that means it's expressed when you're in a positive state of flow the more you are and the more you feel you are in flow, the more easy it is for you to give to other people. As soon as you get something and feel a heightened sense of energy or passion or care, you want to share it with other people. You get something and so you go, I want to share this with other people too. This was so nice. I want to talk to, with this to other people. I want to give this to others as well. I love this. I want this to be what everyone has. I want everyone to be, have a part of this. So it makes sense then that when you're a feeling judging type in flow, you're a thinking and perceiving type in stress. 
At your worst, the more stressed you are, the more uncommunicative you become, the more self-centered you become, the more selfish you become. At the first signs of stress, you can resist the temptation to do these things. You try constantly to think about other people and you start feel stressed you start thinking oh maybe other people are taking me for granted maybe other people are using me maybe i'm being uh, maybe my kindness is a weakness and you start getting the temptation to cut corners to cheat to play a game with other people to manipulate to uh, employ tactics to get ahead but you recognize this as a bad thing, you know, I want to maintain flow, I want to keep doing the right thing. And so you try constantly to resist this temptation until you, uh, the stress becomes so big, you begin to justify it. Uh, but everyone else is doing it, but everyone else is being like this, nobody else cares, nobody else has my back. And so you start thinking of cutting yourself out of people's lives, you start feeling there are energy thieves everywhere, you start feeling like people are psychopaths, they're using you, you start feeling like uh, people are manipulating you, you start feeling that other people are not your true friends, and so you start backing away. You start creating this dichotomy of uh, I am the good martyr that is constantly giving to other people and other people are constantly using me up. The more stressed you become, the more elevated this position of martyrdom becomes and here you truly get to know what feeling and judging is about it's about social control and because it's social control it's not control of the system it's not ambition it's not the pure raw one thing and uh, having uh, rules and following a rule book it's about norms and it's about perception and it's about how things are seen and how things are perceived the feeling and judging type is constantly thinking about how things are perceived how are is a situation perceived am i the good one or am i the bad one so in pursuit of social control you're constantly seeking to maintain a position where you are the good one and where other people are the bad ones <laughs> where you are the one that has done right for yourself and where other people have not where you have always covered your tracks you've always been there for other people you've always been supportive everyone else however so you want to be very 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 careful of this tendency in yourself and uh, you want to recognize that yeah this is not a position of health the pursuit of wanting to be seen as good is shallow and has nothing to do with actually being supportive or caring or helpful. Recognizing when you are pushing yourself into other people's lives or pushing or demanding other people to accept your help or making other people into victims just so you can be the white knight in shining armor to come there and make things better, that's not a position of health. That's a position of constant invalidation of other people. When you do these things, you make other people feel incapacitated and weak, not good enough to help themselves. Only with your help, only with your support, can they feel good. In creating villains or people that are using you or creating people that are taking your resources or taking your kindness for granted, you're also creating a script in which you're saying to other people, only my way is good, only I can be a caregiver, only I can be a helper, only I can be supportive. And uh, if you're not supporting me, you're not a good person. Think about that for a second, you know. It says nothing about what other people are doing. Other people might be very kind or might be giving in whatever they are doing. They might be helping the world or making things better, but they might not be making it better for you. They might not be giving you what you want. So with feeling and judging, recognizing that other people are good as they are. They might not be good for you, but they are good as they are. They might not be helping you right now, but they're good as they are. They are helpful in other ways. They, are other, they have other qualities. Everyone has good qualities inherently. Everyone has something they will naturally make better in flow, something they will naturally improve. And not everyone is obligated to help you or support you in your social causes. Not everyone is supposed to agree with you or think the way you do or to share your social norms about what kindness is or when to help another person who is to hold up the door. Not everyone is supposed to think the way you do. 
feeling in judging is a wonderful function that decides how the world should operate socially. And the more you develop this kind of function, the better you'll be at giving, caring and creating a culture of support and agreeableness where everyone feels help, where everyone feels trust, where everyone feels support, including you. Everyone feels support. Everyone knows they can help. Everyone knows they can support one another. Everyone knows help and support is something positive and something strong. Yeah, giving or being kind is not a weakness. It takes strength to be kind. It takes dedication. It takes passion. It takes purpose to truly be kind and to truly put yourself into another person's life and to help them with whatever they're going through, no matter how shit it is. Thanks everyone for watching this video and leave your comments down below and tell me what you think about feeling and judging and what feeling and judging is to you.